Building managers in public buildings are facing significant challenges today. They have to operate within restricted budgets, but they also have to meet national energy efficiency and CO2 reduction targets. As energy agency to the Dublin local authorities, Kadima maintain a database of all the public buildings and we monitor their energy consumption. Sports and leisure centres are some of the highest energy consumers within Dublin City Council and by implementing energy efficiency measures in these buildings there is a large potential to save energy, CO2 and also a considerable amount of money for the City Council. We work very closely with the building managers to help them identify the great potential there is to achieve energy savings within their buildings. Well naturally in our sports and fitness centres we have staff that are qualified in life saving and swim instruction and in gym work as well. But you know there's no point in giving gym instruction or teaching people how to swim in a cold pool or a cold environment so we need energy expertise as well which we don't really have on our staff at the moment but it's becoming more and more a focus for our business now in terms of delivering a better service to our customers. We would hire contractors in to provide expertise in those areas that we don't have on board in our own staff and specifically with regard to energy we would hire contractors in to look on maintaining our plant and boiler rooms, looking after our lighting, our electrical systems. So when we hire the contractors in, essentially they would just come in and swap like for like and there isn't really any focus on improving our energy efficiency or how we manage our energy usage in the buildings. Here's the problem. When building managers start to plan energy efficiency measures for their facility, they have a lot to consider. They will have to speak to a range of professionals who all speak a different language and have different objectives. The building manager receives separate quotes for each work and has to carefully balance the existing budgets for the upgrades. Additional funding can also be difficult to secure. Even if the building manager goes ahead with these energy efficiency measures, the contractors often work in isolation and don't think about the combined benefits. This can all distract from the day-to-day -day running of the building. Once the contractors have completed their work, the responsibility is back on the building manager to maintain the facility and ensure energy savings are achieved. Kadima is currently a partner in a European co-funded project by Intelligent Energy for Europe called Easy 2020. The purpose of this project is purely to focus on promotion of energy performance contracting in public buildings in Europe. And through this project, Kadima gains by working with experts in energy performance contracting across Europe. We see EPC as a real game changer in building energy management. In Ireland, Kadima act as EPC facilitators which means we will help building owners identify if their building is actually suitable for this type of contract right through to the signing of the actual contract. So what is energy performance contracting and how does it work? In essence, EPC is the contracting of an energy service company to deliver guaranteed energy savings within a building. This means that all the upgrades can be financed from energy savings achieved with no additional costs for the building manager. The first step is to contact the EPC facilitator who will help with the pre-audit of the building and walks the building manager through the EPC process step by step. The EPC facilitator assists with the preparation of the tender document which is published on a public tendering platform. Together with the EPC facilitator, the building manager enters the negotiation process with different energy service companies, or ESCOs. The contract is awarded to the winning ESCO and the energy savings are agreed for the duration of the contract, which is typically between 6 to 15 years. The ESCO can now proceed with the implementation of energy saving measures which must be delivered as part of the contract. If the guaranteed savings are not achieved, the ESCO must pay the building manager the difference. The building manager immediately benefits from improved comfort levels in the building and reduced CO2 emissions. 
The ESCO will work in partnership with the building manager for the duration of the contract by conducting monthly assessments and ensuring that energy savings are on track. Well, the main reason we chose EPC is that we can actually forget about it. I mean, we're leisure centre managers, so what we want to do is manage our leisure centres in terms of providing the service to our customers. And EPC means that we can save time, we can just call one energy efficiency expert who's going to make sure all of our energy requirements are met and it's going to save us money as well. So it seems like a pretty attractive option to us as leisure centre managers. We've chosen three of our largest sports and fitness centres to implement EPC. We've chosen Ballymun, Finglas and Markovic. We believe they're a very good fit based on the energy audits that we've had carried out independently. What makes EPC so attractive is that it is the provision of energy services with a guaranteed outcome. 